<laughs> I'm not really a Tupac guy. I'm more of a notorious B.I.G. Never heard of her. <laughs> what? You're, Biggie Smalls is sweet. He was good. I'm about to puke. <laughs> no, if you listen to if you listen to Notorious B.I.G., his fucking lyrics are fucking off the cuff. They're awesome. What do they call Where? that? Acapella? Or Acapella's style? yeah, acapella's, acapella's when, you, when you sing with no music. Right. Well, or you would rap on the corner with Dude, I saw Tony Bennett at the Fox Theater in Detroit. And you guys might laugh about Tony Bennett. But that guy is fucking talented. He fucking did um a couple songs acapella in the Fox Theater. And it was amazing. Yeah. What number of podcasts is this? I think 62. We haven't done one in so long. Okay, I don't I even know. I gotta uh, look. Are you on the Misfits Instagram, Jay? Look. No, look I'm on the... mine. Oh, okay. We're live. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you doing a live. Oh, why not? <laughs> Jackass. Notorious bully. I like that. I was gonna say, well, they, they, they also said that Frank Sinatra was a terrible singer. Who's they? Oh, the old fucks. Who's they? Who was your favorite singer, Leonard? What was your go-to when you were a kid? Peter Frampton. <laughs> That's a good question. Your father probably didn't let you listen to that. No, this. he didn't. What did he, he listen to? Nothing? Absolutely not. Really? He didn't listen to any music? No. Really? Never. I never. Never. That's interesting. He listened to the hockey game when he lifted. The pirate game when he lifted on AM radio or a political talk show on Pittsburgh area. Yeah. Did your dad like to cut grass? He did it. I mean. Who the fuck likes to? I like drinking beer and mowing lawn. Give well, me a John Deere tractor and a case of beer. I'll see you later. We didn't like people telling what to do. One time we had a big snowstorm and you know the rock salt that they put on the roads up north to melt the ice. Destroys your car. Our too, neighbor put a bag of rock salt in our yard and said use this. So he goes, come here. And he, I walked with him. He, he grabbed the bag of rock salt. He walked up to the neighbor's house and threw the bag right at the front door as hard as he could. <laughs> and almost knocked the door down. And I said, Dad, why'd you do that? I says, who and what is this going to tell me to use this? And that was the end of that. Just like the time the dogs would shit in our yard. He come out. He goes, come here. Watch this. Get the, get the shovel. Take the shit. Throw it right in their front porch. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, didn't say anything, whatever. We used to do that in Halloween, get bags of dog shit and light it on fire and leave it at the front porch, knock on the door and run. Yeah, someone did that to us one time. <laughs> they did that to us. When I was really young, I was scared to death. Yeah. My father was running around from house to house looking around, couldn't find him. One time we had a guy playing golf in my front yard. And my did father you live, looked. Did you live by a golf course? Yeah, Oakmont Country Club. They play the U.S. Open there every Oakmont, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a good nice course. Yeah, I used to caddy there, and he caddied there when he was younger. Did you really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, my battery's dying, so we're about to end this so live. He said, is this the Oakmont Country Club? And the guy's like, no, he goes, you get the hell out of your yard, I'm going to knock you the hell out of the yard. <laughs> well, they're asking for D-Ball Debbie to come on the podcast. I haven't seen her. In the last time I no. saw her at the bank, she toned it down, had a very feminine look to her. No shit. And she looked good, yeah. Someone I just said, "Thank God for no pops." You know, if, if there was one, <laughs> if, if there was one like era in the Genova verse, I wish had happened that never did. It would have been a Coth Debbie era. It never came into fruition. I think we did like one or two videos with her working with Jason, and then she dipped. She's like, "I don't need this shit." Well, because they got the trolls correct, and got in correct. Them. Surprised she you couldn't handle it. It's like the best era that well, never had, happened. She had porn out I there, and they found it immediately. Debbie. Hmm? So I would love to fuck I know, Debbie. Some, women, some people are more sensitive. <laughs> She's right up your alley, women. right, Jay? I think Coth Debbie was sexy. <laughs> of course you do. Yeah. Well, I don't mind them a little muscular, know, Brad. I'm not just, intimidated. Just like you. Like I said before, you like women that look like men, and he likes men that look like women. Well, I, what do you like, Brad? I like he women likes that some, look like women. You know, well, you kind of go for that Boring. trashy look. That they look like they fell Ooh. off the back of someone's Harley. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> If that's mm -hmm. if that's what you think, that's fine. No, you like rock and roll chicks oh, in a yeah. biker bar. Yeah, fuck no yeah. bullshit. Or the back seat of a because low rider. They'll tell you. They'll tell you how. No, you're the one with the low riders chicks. You like the low rider what chicks. What is a low rider? Because I don't know. Where it is. Yes, you I do. just heard that. A '60s muscle car ride that's been lowered and has hydraulic suspension. Huh. Pretty much. Anybody that enjoys hydraulic suspension, watching it or driving in it, has too much free time on their hands. Yeah, I agree with you.
It's the most ridiculous. Where have you thing. Se- well, I haven't seen that in a long time though down here. Have you? Well, where you go, you might see it. Thank God I don't. Why don't you tell everybody about your trifecta last? What uh, was it Friday night? Did you get nailed in the ass again? No, I nailed somebody in the ass in the men's room. A boy or a girl? Well, who knows these days. Doesn't matter, right? Well, it did matter. I mean, I wasn't too happy about it, but I was really turned on. Yeah, that text you sent me. He t- he sent me a text that fucking. What, what was it? Happened? What was it? It was like fucking two o'clock in the morning. I just <laughs> fucked. It. You, yeah, was, you wrote, I just f dot 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 dot. A guy in the men's room and breathe. <laughs> and I'm like, and I saw it in the morning and I said, wait a minute, fought or fucked? <laughs> yeah, I was down at Club Breathe, you know, the man with the manager, he's six foot 11 inch ex Florida Gator basketball player, big porch monkey, put on some work. He's a pretty big intimidating guy, but, you know, he's, he sees us on our channel and he sees me around town. And his club's pretty much packed. It's a younger crowd and, you know, I was a little G'd up. And that live. And uh, walked in. The club is packed, you know, all these young girls, but they're one dimensional. Everybody, that's all they can do is do they call that twerk. So went to the men's room. I'm in there. There's two girls in there. Actually, like a bunch of kids, you know, yeah, I could call them kids. There was girls in the men's room and a kind of a feminine looking type guy with the girls. And he came up to me. He's like, oh, he goes, Ooh, I wouldn't mind getting busy with you. You're a big bear. I says, oh, yeah. I says, I will. If he says, you watch. He said, girl's watching. He put a fucking rubber on me. Then she took out another packet with some kind of grease or gel. Put the mic- grease? You, yeah. Listen, you, you guys have got to hold the microphones up to your mouths when you speak. Because I keep getting messages about how the levels are low. Okay. And mine is fine. But you guys got to just right underneath your mouth. Please. So, I basically just start them as hard as I can while these girls are watching uh, and I put my left arm I've around his neck s- and I choked him choked the shit out of him while well, you're a butt fuck yeah he's like oh, oh I love it oh, I never been done and this like was it. a feminine looking boy unfortunately yeah it's something I wouldn't it wasn't even a tranny I know I wouldn't consider you should be ashamed of yourself I am <laughs> bad repercussions but it was fun having the girls watch but I seemed to get turned on and really put hurting the kid and he liked it too so jesus christ and then i'm not happy about it. actually i'm ashamed of myself fuck that little fairy i would have fucked him too <laughs> uh, uh, finally yeah, out would, of the closet you too i'm surprised i didn't crack his neck but so this is the, the this is the next phase after training no, and just fucking sh- that, straight that's that gave me a little wake-up call mm. it, besides thinking about it now it's it disgusts me so then you went with that chick. And I said, no, he's like, I'm like, yes, yeah, like, you know, they do. I said, what's your name? He goes, <laughs> you know, he goes, I'm Kia. <laughs> it's like, oh, God. Did you ejaculate? Uh, no, I don't think so. I was pretty out of it. I would have pulled the condom off and put it in that little faggot's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> What? Why don't you go to Club Breathe next weekend with him and maybe you can do it. Good Lord. Come should not be wasted. <laughs> it's a waste when you come inside a condo. Well, he didn't come. <laughs> so then how the night progressed? You know, there's nothing wrong with... This is fucking amazing to me, the story he told me. I couldn't... Eat, when he's when he called me and told me this, I was fucking speechless. I didn't even know what I the hell was to West Palm off of uh, Dixie to see if there was any old talent out there, and it wasn't. But there was a lot of music playing. So there was a club on one of those side streets. And I was a nice-looking blonde sitting in the front all fucked up. I said, is this place any good? She goes, why don't you come in and find out? So I came in. I had to go through this long hallway. And there's a club that's sort of outside, halfway outside, halfway inside. And it was packed. I said, it was a Jamaican club. There was a lot of Spanish girls there, too. And it's, right up, it started right raining. Alley. Yeah, it started raining. So half the people were getting wet. And I was standing in the rain just to cool off. And the Standing ones, in the rain? Yeah, because it's half of it's outdoor, half of it's indoor. And the, some of the pea girls kept dip dancing. They were, you know, Don't you stink when you get rained on? Like an animal? <laughs> You're worried about fucking hygiene now all of a sudden? <laughs> you don't so, even brush your teeth. You're worried about standing The girl had a rain? black dress that on, you know, typical Jamaican body, trim waist, round ass. You could get a heart attack face. from brushing your teeth. Oh, yeah, well, I've heard that. Then why don't you use mouthwash then? Do something. So she had the cookie cutter tattoos, you know, the writing on the shoulder all down. And she's like, I'm looking at her. I says, I like that. And she's like, well, if you like it, can you dry me off? So I dabbed her arm. Then I licked her arm. Then I picked up her arm. She goes, oh, 
and I gave her a pit stop, or she gave me a pit stop, and I was doing it for about a minute. A pit stop? Licking her armpit. I licked her what armpit for over a minute. It was a her, it wasn't I don't even sh- want my dick in a girl's armpit. I had my left arm, my left hand finger in her, in the front, right arm finger in her, right up her butt in the back, while I was licking her pit, and she's like, oh, that's even better. Oh, oh. <laughs> and all these people are looking and laughing. Like and you're fingering her butt. And her, and her pussy and getting a pit stop at the same time. And she was, I mean, right in front of everybody, which was a fun thing. Did you wash your hands when you were done? Uh, no, I didn't remember. Not that what I about remember. the feces on your finger? I guess I call it fertilizer. <laughs> Jesus Christ. She's a female. She's a human, not feces, a cow. Feces causes growth. <laughs> oh Perfect my fertilizer. Oh, so oh my God. I'm figuring if it goes through my skin, you make it some muscle growth. There's something to that. Every bangle of muscle growth, you try to explore oh, and find oh, out. Oh, my fucking God. But that's a new saying, too. When you tell a girl, say, fertilize me, baby. That means, you know, take a dump on me. <laughs> I'd have to really like a chick to let her shit on me. <laughs> Plants are going to start growing out of your head. <laughs> I wish it would. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> you fucking. <laughs> All right. So, so there was a girl. Someone needs to add that to Urban Dictionary. There was a girl down yeah, exactly. yeah. a little. I went left that club right after that, after the finger. And there's a girl standing against the <laughs> ball like 20 yards down the road, right on the main street. And I just came up to her and I says, hey, can I be your daddy for the night? She goes, you sure can. Oh, you with that daddy shit. Well, she liked it too. I says, Jesus let's Christ. go. And I was her driving. I said, I said, question, you live over here? She says, yes. Yeah. She's originally from Houston. I says, where's all the trannies at? She says, from what I hear, there's been so many problems with people getting robbed and assaulted. That hasn't come up anymore. She goes, but I know one. I said, no, you don't. She goes, yes, I do. I'll show you where she lives. She's right across the street from me. So we went up. She went in this house. I made, waited in the car, locked the doors. And sure enough, he you know, walks one, dress, heels, Blonde wig, gorgeous, young too. Black? Oh yeah, 22, 10, 10, 10. <laughs> so we went to the uh, Super 8 on Blue Heron and there's this big fat white lady, all diabetic, just laying on the couch. And we're banging on the door to wake her up to get the room. Oh, she was such a slob and she had sores all over her face. It was almost laughable how oh. disgusting she was. And got a room. That's the front desk woman you're yeah. talking about. Oh. Super 8s are usually pretty good for being cheap. Yeah, so we all dropped trow, and I got on. Nice, big, thick, black cock? No, my, it was tiny. It was actually, she was. You got to suck on it, make it big. It was very small, but. Oh, well, it'll get big. I went in doggy style position. Oh, yeah. I had the girl from behind me. She's, you know, reaching underneath me. Felt really good, you know, rubbing my balls and my dick, <laughs> doing this. And she's doing this, and she's, and she's stuck her tongue in my ass. That's a rusty shit. trombone. Yeah, it was great, but the way she was doing it, I said, you're very talented. And, you know, the tranny, I had her put her foot in my mouth. It was nice. It had, you know, the nice nail polish on. And I was sucking her foot and she was going nuts. Oh, you know, 22. Oh, my God. I never had this done to me. Uh, said, smelly yeah, fucking want. man's foot. Yeah, in the front. So then they, we switched up. And the <laughs> tranny, she did that to the tranny. And she was sticking her. I guess she was doing the same thing to me. She was sticking her fingers in. Doing this. Right up Gaping you. Yeah. So she was doing that to me, and it actually felt really good. And like, another girl was twenty-seven. I said, "Man, you're you're an expert." So I never had that. That was pretty good. But the tranny sucking me off. She's doing it to the tranny. We switched it up. Took him home. Took the tranny home. Took the girl back to the hotel. I slept there. But you know, as soon as I woke up, I got out. And always remember, maniacs. You go to a hotel. You put your wallet and keys underneath the mattress where you're sleeping. Always. Do not put it anywhere else. Well, if you're messing around with black hookers, yeah. Exactly. So. I went out snuck. I don't just usually don't pass get, out before them. I don't usually get black hookers. So when we went, eh, they're, they're pretty good. So when we came back to the hotel, the tranny called. She goes, she wants to do it again. I said, no, I can't do it. I'm not 22 like you. I'm not 27 like her. You don't have that. They I thought she wanted it again. I thought you were 18 forever. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Did forever. you come this time? <laughs> but no, we didn't do it the next time. And then once morning came, I sort of snuck out of there, left her stranded. And Riviera, so she it's had a like I bag. said at the gym earlier, that's the Lenny Fecta. He fucked a man, a tranny, and a woman at one night. And I, the whole drive home, I, I felt like a. How many people do you know have done that? I felt like that's some non cookie cutter. Like I felt a horrible feeling come across <laughs> me. It's a hat trick. I was ashamed of myself. I really was ashamed of all that. He should be. It got to a point where I don't want to do that anymore. But you know what? That's what the key was. When you do it, 
get do so degrading and nasty that you don't want to do it for a month because the temptation is going to come by. You. <laughs> you know, the I'm temptation is going to come by you, and you know it's not going to be successful if you give into that all the time. These people, you know, they got nothing to do all day. That's why they do that. They do that probably every fucking day. They get high. They're living it up. Don't get me wrong. Living it up. Are, they're living it up. <laughs> they know how to work the system and everything. A black possible. cock inside you is not living it up. <laughs> <laughs> well. Jeez. Don't knock it till you try it, Jay. What did you say? Oh, that was you telling me that before you said fuck. A black tongue in your mouth. <laughs> so. Jesus Christ. Leonard, very, very bad maniac. Leonard's very wild similar. wild weekend with Leonard. Nobody can top that shit, I don't think. So what happened hmm. Saturday night? He needs to get a midget. Wait, there was this more that this oh, past yeah. weekend? Did you guys see that midget at the Mr. Olympia? No. Who's competed? Who's, whose Instagram story was that on? I was I, I saw there was a bunch. I think there's a couple different midgets competing, right? I'm surprised your head hasn't got put on them yet. <laughs> <laughs> it will now. Thanks, pal. So Saturday night was a was another banger. Lousy night. I watched the. Uh, Who's on the Hurricanes? Gonna get embarrassed again. What are you talking? About? They Kings won, like won. forty-two to nothing or something. Oh, I'm thinking of the week. That was a week before. No, I was thinking. Who else was thinking? Yeah, the Canes got their ass kicked a week before by yeah, North Carolina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you went. To Dale's probably happy as a pig and shit. Why? Dale doesn't know anything about sports. Dale played semi-pro football. He's a middle linebacker. He'll tell you. Middle linebacker at five foot six. Semi-pro. One of the guys who would have been a pro if he had a few more inches. He a few more inches in his ass, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Dale would be very annoying if he went tackling you around the legs like a little fairy. <laughs> be like Jeff Van Gundy when he was hanging on to Alonzo Mourning's leg. Yeah, you remember that? Exactly. <laughs> Get off me, you little midget. I'm for, trying to score. For, anyone, for, for all the overseas people who don't know what I'm talking about, Google image search Jeff Van Gundy holding on to Alonzo Mourning's leg. It happened during a brawl during a Knicks-Miami Heat game in the late 19, in 1990s. It's on YouTube, too. You can watch the video of it. To this day, I still don't know how the hell he ended up in that position, holding on to Alonzo Mourning's leg in the middle of a fight, like someone holding on to a light post during a he hurricane. Didn't want his player ejected for fighting? I, I don't that know. Was his player, right? No, that's the other team's player. Why was he grabbing it? A- I don't know. He was holding on to his leg for dear life. That makes no sense. We haven't been on in what was? It's been over. It's been over a month now. Yeah, since PJ. Yeah. What'd you think of that? Um, you were mentioned on a podcast with Brendan Schaub and Theo Vaughn. Did you watch that, Leonard? Yeah. What's your assessment? Uh, people wanted to know your thoughts on that. Well, first of all, there's not too many pe- pictures of men shirtless. Okay. Number two, there's guts out there that make mine look, you know, like nothing. And number three, mine's solid. So. And like, he, like they all said, oh, I'm going to die any day. Well, I've been waiting. They told me that 20, 25 years ago. So here I am. Defying all odds. Jay, are you looking at any more li- uh, lifting meets, powerlifting? Yeah, um, I've been looking online mm-hmm. at some potential competitions to enter. Um, I'm still thinking about attacking that uh, world record in my age group for the 308 weight class. So let's see. Maybe um, if we get the maniacs, get them uh, start another GoFundMe. Yeah, that'd be nice. <laughs> um, no, but I mean, uh, you know, some of these meets, uh, you know, you need to you need um, to be qualified for. Well, if I'm going to go for a fucking world record, I'm fucking qualified, motherfucker. I'm not going to go do a meet. But you have to do squat, deadlift, and bench, correct? Yeah, you can do a token squat. But we were looking at some on my computer, and we saw bench only. Yeah, the bench only, sometimes that won't count for the record. See, there's bench only records, and then there's bench records from a powerlifting meet. So what I would do is do a token squat, like go, in, go get under 135, squat 135, and then wait for the bench press to start. Okay. There are over 150 powerlifting federations worldwide. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, it's fucked up. Really? 
Well, they're not for me because I'm not going to put on one of those fairy shirts that adds 200 pounds to your fucking bench. There you go. That's like the guy in the Kalora video. All in that shirts. Those bench what, what, shirts are for fucking faggots. Have you ever tried one? Amen. When I was a kid. Yeah. West Side Barbell in Columbus, Ohio has a bunch of little short fat guys that bench 500 with a shirt on. Do you think it gives you, it does, so it gives you definitely an advantage. Of course right? it does. Some yeah. of those little fat guys get over 200 them. pounds from wearing a bench shirt. You can't shirt. even no lower shirt. the weight unless it's heavy enough. It won't even lower. That's how, how the fuck do you get the shirt on? How the you, fuck you did that ever get started? People helping you. Really? How did that ever get started? It ruined how is that legal, though? Ruined power. Well, if it gives you that much of an advantage, how is that legal? 50 federations. It's you whatever they say. Hold the microphone like this. Stop holding it by the cord, you fucking... And put it by your mouth. You can't use a shirt enough. if the meat is raw. Okay. So only men go to raw meats. Did you ever get contact? You never got a trophy from that one because you didn't do the deadlift in the squat, right? That's why There was no left. squat at that meet. That was a push-pull, bench and deadlift. Okay. So since you didn't do the deadlift, you... Right. I, I basically conceded because I couldn't keep up with them in the deadlift. Mm. I don't know why you were so nervous. You lifted 505. You could have done 525. I know. I get weird. Yeah. We could have... I, I, I think you're just getting hyped up. Yeah, but I mean, that's... I may have come across as nervous, We've serious. seen him do 500 for years now. Yeah, you know, um, the the guys in my private chat group asked me, Jay, what were you thinking about when you were getting all psyched up? And without hesitation, I told them fear of losing. Yeah. You know, if you're not afraid to lose, you're going to lose. Guys that are too cocky wind up in third place. <laughs> <laughs> no, you need fear, but you can't let fear control you. You have to use the fear for something positive. You know, you don't think those guys that stormed the beaches in Normandy were fucking scared? Fuck yes, they were scared. There's fucking barbed wire in the water. You didn't even see guys would run into the water and their legs would get ripped off. Not pretending to not be afraid is pseudo masculinity. Fuck yes, you got to be scared of. Them Germans had machine guns on everybody, nonstop. I mean, that's why when these people disrespect the flag, they, do they understand the fear and the, you know, like it or not, I mean, the Nazis were able to take over this country. The Japs, you know, that's not necessarily it, true, Lenny. I just think that the, uh, they would they would concede it to them. See, the Brits, they rejected Hitler's offer. Hitler offered peace in the beginning, and the Brits rejected it. No, Chamberlain, the fucking faggot before Churchill, wanted peace. <laughs> Learn your history, Leonard. Was he a known no, faggot? No, no, he didn't no, say, it wasn't a real faggot. They sent out the <laughs> Germany, I mean, sorry, Britain said, Germany, we will declare war on you if you invade Poland. But they had to invade Poland to get to Russia. So. And the French basically laid down their rifles. Well, they were smart. They didn't get half of their town destroyed. Like I like what the French did to those the women at, at the conclusion of the war. The, the the women that colluded with the fucking Nazis, they they, sh they rounded them all up and shaved their heads so everyone knew they were fucking traitors. <laughs> you being the misogynist that you are, you love any kind of punishment towards women. I think almost all women should have their head shaved. <laughs> Let her know she's property. De de dehumanize her. <laughs> Who would you start with? My Who? girlfriend or wife at the time. Just do it when she's sleeping. You're attracted to women with shaved heads? Uh, not necessarily. I'm attracted to the women, woman I'm with at that moment. Love the one you're with. Was that Crosby, Stills, and Nash? Leonard? <laughs> it's Crosby, Stills, and Chance. <laughs> Could you see Dale singing Southern Man? Yes. <laughs> uh, is he still competing this month or next competing month? Competing in what? The 
competition that he challenged you to go up there and do with him? Was it? Was it oh, that's October, right? Uh, it's coming up. I would have. I would say no at this point. You don't think he is? Because the last picture I've seen of him was a month ago. He wasn't. Oh, he just posted a picture. I think yesterday, or the day before, it looked pretty good. He's. It looks like he's on track. He's just going to be smaller than he was at the Ruby. You think so? Yeah. No, I don't. Think he was. He got real small for that. What was he two twelve or something? Hmm. Anyway, Dale lost an inch Dale. jumping the Mustang. <laughs> the poor lady's porch. I wonder if Dale's ever like gone over there to say he's sorry. <laughs> he might mow her grass every week now. Who knows? <laughs> and since we were on last, you got you got your shoulder done. How's your shoulder feeling? What's your assessment? Very slow progress. It's not coming along as quickly as I. I hope my physical therapist said I should be much further along four weeks post-op, but... Your physical therapist told you that? Mm-hmm. Oh, Based on what was done. Yeah. But taking it week by week, doing the work, doing the physical therapy. Because there are physical therapists at my job, and they all tell me the same thing. They're like, it takes time. It take, they're going to say, it's going to take months to get back your range oh, of motion. Yeah. They say the surgery I had, it takes you to be a year to be somewhat normal. Yeah. Somewhat normal. Somewhat normal, yeah. I've, I've heard people with my sur double surgery take some nine months to climb a flight Jeez. of stairs. Fuck. But you see John Pierre Fuchs, that Swiss bodybuilder from the 90s who had a similar injury to yours, he went back to the scene of the crime and he squatted 700 again, so. I'm never going to do that. I don't know. No. I don't think I'll ever put more than 225 on my back. It would be stupid. I'm 50 uh, years fucking old. Yeah, you know, that's the point. I think you get up to 315. Yeah, maybe. I think so. Well, you probably could, but you're going to just go 225 for reps, right? right. Yeah, he, Reps build legs, like Tom Platt's always said. Well, you were saying that today, that reps builds everything. Yes, a certain amount. Everyone's afraid of that 6 to 12 rep range because it's just so much fucking work. It's easier to lift heavy than lift 6 to 12 reps. Yeah. yeah. 6 to 12 reps is a motherfucker. And that's why you grow. Ugh. Isn't six reps? Wouldn't you consider that a low amount of reps for a yeah, set? Yeah, but it's still into that zone of where it's more bodybuilding. Think about a set of six, man. You crank out three or four quick ones, and then you got two that are just horrible. Yeah, I think I'm done with that one rep max shit. There's oh, no I never do that. There's no fucking point of that. Wasting your time? You, yeah, it's, you want everything when you go in the gym. You, you want zero growth size. if you want to train like Chris O'Toole. <laughs> <laughs> That guy squats every fucking day. Did you see he posted something today with with those fitness bands hanging off the 45-pound the bar with 25-pound plates Ooh, dangling from them? Remember, remember what Chuck it. did yeah, once? Yeah, I can't with the, military the bands pressing. and the chains. And yeah, that's that. what he did. Uh, Squat uh, Chains are fun. Yeah? Yeah. I remember Big Rob was doing videos of like doing curls with chains. He's a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that guy disappeared. I heard someone told me that uh, he did a live the other day and there were two people on it. <laughs> he's trying his heart. He's trying so hard to be like Cassidy Campbell. Oh, why is he doing prank videos? Yeah. Too? Oh, Jesus Christ. Here we go. Everybody's going to start with their pranking videos. Someone's going to get shot or have their You're ass kicked right. one of these days That's doing right. those yeah, stupid when, when videos. Cassidy Campbell dresses up like a wigger or get arrested. Someone's going to fucking jack him in the fucking face. Well, you ever, you ever watch those hood prank videos on YouTube? I don't know. I, those are either fake, you know, staged because some of those people, I don't know how the hell, like some white guy will be in the ghetto and I'll walk up behind a black dude and he'll be wearing his pants real low, sagged like these morons do. And I'll go and he'll pull his pants all the way, all the way down. Great way to get or like, yo, dude, you need to pull your pants up, man. Great way to get shot. Exactly. You know what I think? Because they're so used to cookie cutter whites being afraid of them. Like for me, for instance, when I get blazed, when I get all <laughs> beasted up, <laughs> I do, I'll do. i go up to, and actually I did, girls with whatever. You're beautiful. I look in her eye. Man, I must be dead. You're an angel. Well, that's my husband. I said, well, you have good taste, and I'll keep saying it. And be well, they see that because you're yeah, a psycho. See, well, they, they see, see that they you're see a fucking psychopath. <laughs> yeah, basically, see there's not a fucking thing they can do outside of shooting me that's going to stop me if I wanted to, and they're not used to it and they're cowards. <laughs> I mean, I, yeah, well, you're lucky. One day you might just get shot by who? 
by somebody that's carrying a gun that doesn't want to deal with your shit. Right. Someone like Big Richard. Well, I, I see these videos. They show them on World Star. These kids that go into like Walmart and they'll pretend like they're sneezing on somebody and have like a spray bottle. Yeah, I've seen. No, I've seen out. those. Yeah. Or reach over them and, and knock shit off the counter. Yeah. Or, one day when that kid's gonna get fucking laid out. Especially in Florida, where we have a stand your ground. <laughs> That's right. But do they ever go up to a white guy with tattoos and a beard? <laughs> no, because they're afraid of rednecks. <laughs> yeah, it's mostly older people that they go up to. Right, women. Yeah. I think one video, a woman pulled out a knife. An older black lady pulled out a knife on this fucking kid because he was doing some stupid prank shit. Sure. So back to Cassidy Campbell. What the fuck is Johnny Bravo doing? I, what happened to like... I, I work 16 hours a day since I was 15 years old. I've never taken a penny from anybody. What, now he's like, what, being a goof? Well, why don't you ask him? You have his number. He's having a good time with him. I, I, I thought he so. was a workaholic. Yeah, maybe he's, he got himself ahead and he's got some spare time to do goof videos. Who the fuck knows? You have really grind your gears, huh? You can see I, I don't like the annoyed those, look on your face. I do not like those Cassidy Campbell videos one bit. I unfollowed that fucking loser. <laughs> that fucking loser has over a million subscribers. I don't care. I can't watch that. It's not funny. There's a, there's thousands of fucking channels that are unwatchable on YouTube that get millions of fucking views and subscribers. There's little kids that play with toys that make thousands of money. I just think if, if Johnny Bravo is absurd. everything he says he is, self-made man, hard worker, you know, what's he doing? I don't know. I guess he found a new niche. I mean, that's not that Johnny Bravo doesn't take the easy way out, does he? Why, why is that easy? Being an asshole? <laughs> <laughs> Filming yourself being an absolute jackass? What, what did you what? see? Him? I just see him playing Cassidy's father in a couple of them. Yeah. Which is totally not believable. I don't know how people fall for that shit, but they do. I mean, uh, there's a lot of idiots. In, on this I planet. just can't watch that shit. And I, Makes you cringe, huh? Yeah, it's not funny. Well, then we'll say what we say about people who say that about us. Don't watch it. That's right. Well, Simple as that. I unfollowed Cassidy Campbell. There you go. That's, right. That's all you have to do. I didn't unfollow Johnny Bravo. He's, I still like him, but I think he's really fucking making himself look like an idiot. But whatever. It's just my opinion. I'm just a fat, homeless <laughs> trucker, alcoholic, <laughs> driving my mom's car around. Yeah. Johnny Bravo's, you know, self-made man. I don't watch the videos. I just see the mm, clips on yeah. Instagram, and that's enough for me. I don't click on the channel or anything. It's not, well, when I, it's not really my cup of tea, but I just you know. When I saw it. some of it, some of them are are amusing, but it gets old after a while. My when, opinion. When we saw Cassidy at the Olympia a year ago, he told me that he wanted to come to Florida and do videos of you, Lenny, trying to pick up girls. So I don't know if he ever plans on following through with that. What's he going to pay, Lenny? What are we supposed to do this for free? <laughs> Who's we? He's talking about Leonard, not you. That's true. I he'd mic. He'd mic so. Lenny. Lenny would. He'd have a great time. Oh yeah. Yeah, I pretty much go up to anybody under certain circumstances. I can't hang out with people like that. He's just got to be. He's just got to understand how you are under the uh, influence. Exactly. <laughs> and not and not panic when you go into a G lock. <laughs> Speaking of the Olympia, what I mean, what are your guys' thoughts on who won and all that? Right guy won, but that Iranian Heidi Chupan has very good physique. Heidi should have came in second. I heard there's a little brawl backstage. Wasn't much of anything, but. Little's right. A bunch of five eight, five right. nine guys. They Come had on. a Las Vegas. Uh, How tall is the guy who won? Five eight ish. Yeah, five seven. Actually, I think he's five seven. That's it. That's who PJ said was going to win. Brandon these Curry. past Olympias, the best bodybuilder in the world does, didn't win. The best physiques in the world aren't even competing. Do you think they should have height classes in these competitions? Oh, yes. oh yeah. I mean, they have weight. Why not but height? And again, like Jay said, everyone's pretty much five nine. You know. How many guys over six feet tall? Cedric McMillan. And the guy, him and Rolly Winkler. Well, Dallas yeah. McCarver was like 6'3". Dallas McCarver. Yeah, he was a big We used to see him at the... Uh, the guy had everything. Body, yeah. Young, he yep. was white. Yeah, he was a big Strong boy. as shit. He was stronger than Ronnie Coleman. Dallas McCarver was one of the strongest bodybuilders I have ever seen. If you want to look at him squatting, deadlifting eight plates for 10. Jesus Christ. Benching five plates for like Calora style. 
guy was had everything and a physique calves crying shame a guy he's you know ex offensive lineman for a small college don't fall asleep with your mouth full so you so you don't think the best guy no you have kai green not competing big rammy not competing he arguably phil heath and of course sean roden what the hell did he do what was he convicted of doing he's a child rapist isn't he <laughs> R- roden no th- didn't he just was accused of raping a girl not a child yeah that's right? that w- allegedly raped a child he hasn't even gone to trial or anything yet right no and she's you know has a shady past it just doesn't make sense it's typical I'd wonder what percentage of women that report rape are fucking downright liars. Well, what do you, what too do you, scary to think about. What do you think about the one accusing Antonio Brown? Complete bullshit. Yeah, if it, I mean, from what they said, he he had relation with her, came on her back or some shit, and then he the next jerked week, off on her back. And then the next she wasn't looking. And then the next week, <laughs> she was back together. If if she was so appalled by, why would she go back to a yeah, guy that just fucking? What did they well, call it? Wasn't that? his girl? It was his the, su- the Superman? Yeah. It was his fucking physical therapist or some shit, yeah. or personal trainer, one of the two. But in reality, a lot of people say Antonio Brown's a really nice guy. I was looking at some of his videos online. I heard he was an asshole. No, not in the, really? in the locker room. They said he was a complete asshole. Yeah, in the locker room, but you know, in personal life, really nice guy. Really, really nice guy. He actually has a uh, what do you call that? A temple, a Jewish temple in his mansion. Because he has a lot of friends who are Jewish, and they come over there and pray. I heard he had some shit because he was being a pussy in practice. He complained about them hitting him or something, and Palomalu wanted to take his head off or something when he was a rookie yeah, yeah. he was eastern like michigan pre- like or a, western michigan he was like a prima Brown. donna i really don't know he was one of those eastern or broncos or something like that but hey he had four two speed coming out of college yeah if he, he could, busts his ass too he couldn't run and jump he'd be working at a gas station or selling watermelons out of the back of a pickup truck <laughs> you see oj simpson said that owner stephen ross should give every dolphin season ticket holder a complete refund i agree with that Fuck you. Them charging those prices. I couldn't believe what I was watching the past two weeks. Nah, they're, they're it was like almost in. they couldn't even have scripted that. Fitzpatrick's getting sacked every time he turned around. <laughs> it's horrible. He should be retiring. He's it's not him. They're not blocking. Seven different te- they're know, not even I fucking know, blocking. They're, they're mailing it in, man. It's they're just... going to Dallas this week. <laughs> oh, I saw that thing where Pump said, I'm going to put the money down. $3,400? No, no. no, you're not. Thirty-four hundred to win hundred grand for them to go zero and sixteen. They're going to do. They it. have to play the Jets they, twice. Correct. The Jets fucking stink. Correct. And like Andrew Adam said, Gase, they got to play the Giants too. Adam but Gase. Stink. Adam Gase is going to make sure that they beat the Dolphins. Both times. How's Le'Veon play Bell twice. working out? The Dolphins can't beat anybody. Yeah, I, they have absolutely nothing. I think they'll win one. No, they won't. The Dolphins have the Joey Harrington. So go ahead and jinx. put up the money then. The What's what? the Joey Harrington jinx? Oh, he came from Every Detroit. team he's ever been on has d- never done a thing since. <laughs> <laughs> That's so such the a money, random You can't name. even name the quarterbacks and coaches for the Dolphins for the past. They just can't. Years. They can't, can't get anybody it. in there to pick talent. They just can't fucking do it. Look at the Patriots have been great for the last what fifteen, almost twenty years, and they're always picking late in the draft, and they. They're still good. You have to have good you know, talent evaluators and good coaching. They haven't had either. Belichick's gifted. You, I can't put my finger on it. What he does correctly, he's just got to get. Actually, I'd like to see Brady retire because I, I can see Belichick doing the same damn thing without him. You for that so? reason alone. Yeah. You know, Brady is not going to retire a Patriot. Get the fuck out. What makes you say that? Because Belichick and the Patriots – Always get rid of guys on the downside when they still have a couple of good years left in them. Nah, he's yeah, not that's good point. Else. I don't see. And that he always happening. restructures his contracts. He's going to go back home to California, where he's born. One of his teams, probably. I think his girlfriend likes New York City. Well, he grew up as a 49er fan, Joe Montana fan. I, I disagree with that, but I wouldn't put up that money, Leonard. What's Brady going to do? When they tell him it's time to be the backup, he's going to want to go to another team. He's got that Brett Favre killer instinct. They're not going to tell him to be the backup. He's going to retire before they do that. He's 41 now, right? He. Steve DeBerg played till he was 41. George Blanda played till he was 47. 
at a high level. Did George Blanda pay, play for Alabama? I think he did. I believe he did. I don't he's, know. Tom Brady, looks, he's playing like he's fucking 30 still. So he looks like whatever. he's 23. He's astonishingly young looking. I like to know his, well, you know his eating routine. It's online. You know, well, you know he gets the best therapy, the, the best water. Everything. I think he sleeps in an oxygen tent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> didn't Terrell Owens used to do that? Didn't he have like a little Jackson? Yeah. Yeah. Does yeah. It this. Wants to be successful. It's worth it. You got to have money to have all that. I saw a, well, one guy had it built his own. It wasn't that hard. It's a hyperbaric chamber. That's what they call it. A lot of women that get facelifts do that. Smart. If I had money, that's what I'd be doing. Every kind of technique to stay younger, mm. stronger, whatever. Have one of those cryo tanks in your house? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least Brad goes in barefoot and doesn't cry about it. And Antonio Brown holds out of practice because he, he, he went in and got a little frostbite, so he claimed. <laughs> yeah, how stupid was I? As she, I'm telling you, she did not tell me about that I had to wear those she fucking socks. She thought it was socks. funny. Yeah. She thought it was funny. That's why I was moving around that fucking thing. I didn't have any socks on. What happened to your feet? It, there, it was fucking freezing. You're supposed to wear socks in there. I had, I didn't know. I just wore my underwear. That was it. She was laughing. That's why you put the video up where uh -huh. I was standing there twirling around because my, I mean, it but felt Ant like I was standing on fucking But I think cream. Antonio did have socks on and he still hurt his little feet. <laughs> I don't like being naked with socks on. That's creepy. <laughs> <laughs> You've never left your socks on while fucking? No, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm certainly not going to fuck a chick wearing socks because if she's got ugly feet, I'm out of there. Yeah, right. <laughs> so I understand Jay has a foot fetish as I do. Is that true, Jay? I I like a nice, sexy. Why don't you ask Jason's mom that? Ooh, that's a little creepy. <laughs> <laughs> I think Jason's mom's a, been a real freak. No, I think so. Yeah, you can see that. I, I think, think so. you're right. California yeah. hippie chick. <laughs> and her younger picture she's very cute when she was full figured. She's never fat. Full? What do you mean full figured? No, she was nice and nice. <laughs> she skin. wasn't a stick figure with tits. Right. See, Jane yeah, goes for the lips. When you go to like kiss her hello or goodbye, yeah. she goes right for your mouth. So does Jay's mom. <laughs> it's yeah, like, my dad's family was Catholic, and my grandfather kissed everybody on the lips. Oh, everybody. <laughs> Catholics are creepy. <laughs> uh, Catholics are creepy about mouth kissing. Creepy as fuck. They're smart, though. You know, with all that repression, they don't like to show nudity, and nothing explicit. What it does, it doesn't burn you out. So when you're a kid and you come across it, it's 100 times better. I can see the point of doing that, being raised real strict like that. You know, if you're out there getting, getting this, doing that at 12 years old, what do you got when you're older? You've been there and done it. That's the problem I find, you know, is looking for something to stimulate you more. You know, I don't want, there's certain words I don't want to go down. You know, I think you've been down <laughs> all of them now. Yeah. Well, Brad, at what age did you earlier. stop kissing your daughter on the lips? <laughs> when they're babies, you do, right? Huh? When they're babies and toddlers, you kiss them on the lips, right? Yeah, but. Got a question for everybody. Jay, what do you start with you? What sexual fantasy do you have that's still unfulfilled? That you want to do? What do they call the cookie cutters? Your bucket list. My bucket list for sexual activity? Yeah. I don't know. I don't think I have anything left I want to do. Andrew? I think it'd be to fuck a clown. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. Fuck Brad. <laughs> a really hot uh, chick dressed up as a clown. That's not a bad idea. That's a bucket list? Absolutely. Yours, Brad? I don't know. That's a good question. I'd have to think about it. Me, it would get like 10, 16 year old black chicks in my backyard, tie me up to that power rack and take a pictures of me, teasing me and fondling me and giggling about it. And then one of them taking a strap on to me while the other ones watch and take turns. Well, the other ones shit on you. Didn't you it's once? Like, it's like a, a, bad a, idea. a bukkake shit. I th right. I thought you already once did something like that. Well, I had an audience. <sighs> but didn't you do something once where. It was two girls. You yes. were chained to a pole in a garage? That's what, over in uh, Derry Shores. Yeah, a nurse. The Serena Williams look alike. <laughs> the double team, me and Clara, when we got her on 20 milligrams of Diana Ball a day. Within a week, I mean, she'd literally come uh, after work. I'd come. Them two are knocking at the door. She's like, let's go. We're going to a hotel. Did you say 200 mix of Diana? She was taking 20 mix of Diana. Oh, 20. That's it's, she looked 
I mean, the meat went to the right places. She was leg press in four places. You know, you were looking at a Serena Williams <laughs> total look alike, same body. Plates. She was doing six plates like it was nothing for 20. Jeez. Her ass got so What, what exercise? Leg press. Her ass was so big and tight on that D-ball. She was so fucking horny. She was the one that had me looking for boys under, you know, teenage boys. We find a bunch of skaters on Federal Highway. And she said, I'm driving her car. Her legs are spread in the back seat. And these guys are doing her one after the other after the other. Skateboarders. Uncomfortable silence. I've heard, we've heard, I've heard that. But see, that Diana Ball worked wonders for her. She, and, never, and it made her look better. There's no masculine look, whatever. It was more feminine. It went in the right place. I think I'd like to take a woman to a sex club and have her gangbanged for my personal enjoyment. Well, we know the place to go. That's right. <laughs> See if you can talk her into it. Rob told me I get special privileges. Like I just got to find the right girl. I don't want some girl that's saying, oh, I don't want to do this. I want to do that. Brad, we're waiting for your fantasy. Uh, give me a minute. I got to think about it. <laughs> to fuck a midget. Anything. Jesus want to bang Christ. A midget. I, Hot little midget. Why, Car Brad? Just carry her around the house. Is this a Freudian slip? Yeah, because her head will be the size of mine. Uh, Brad, I hate to break. <laughs> I hate to break the bad new Brad news to you, but people that gravitate to midget porn are pedophiles. In women. No, don't even say that. Yes, shit. they are. No, don't say that. Yes, yeah, a fact. <sighs> because they're small. Yes, it is, Brad. I hate to say it. That's the truth. So just. You what know. about a pedophile? What about be a threesome mother daughter combo? That's real taboo. It's been done. Well, yeah. It's been done. It's been doing it as we speak right now in this county. I guarantee it. Guarantee it. I was thinking of a Jerry Springer idea. Get a guy, a hillbilly on there like Dale <laughs> that's had sex with his wife, <laughs> her mom, and her mom's mom. <laughs> I'm picturing well, Granny from the Beverly Hillbillies as the mom's mom. Well, how many generations from the same family of females can can one man fuck? If you start doing the math, if you fuck a 15 year old and the mom's 30, grandma's 45, then there's the great grandma 60, then you got great great grandma 75. What do you think the record is for the number of generations of a hillbilly? <laughs> I'm sure the maniacs will find it out. That's not a good bad Somebody question. will be researching that. For How sure. would you even Google that? I don't know. Well, what would you put in the search? The would, search would you, uh, you window. Put in the Guinness Book of World Records. Well, as I you could easily fuck a woman, and if the daughter wasn't yours, you could fuck her. Right. Well, you'd have to assume that the whole family is a bunch of whores having kids when they're 15 and 16. I think that's kind of hot when you go over to your girlfriend's house and the mom wants to fuck you. What's wrong with that? Or, or, one, or one of your buddies' house that has a hot mom that wants to fuck you. <laughs> yeah. Like when Brad goes to Jay's house. Right. <laughs> Best looking seven year old I've ever seen. He's only 68. Same difference. Oh. Jay mistakenly sh showed me young pictures of her at his house. I did? Where? Jay, you, you had a lot of uncles, didn't you? Uh, yeah, I grew up on cut. <laughs> I grew up on couches everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you're such a misogynist now. Yeah, I think I think women that introduce their kids to too many men are fucking should be fucking shot. I mean, you you can't grow up and be normal. If 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 you you know growing up, your mom introduced you to every guy she fucked. Is this a confessional? No, but I just think about it. I mean, if, if 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 a woman wants to introduce you to her kids too quick, that it's a little uncomfortable, you know, she's not a keeper. Yeah. Well, what's the right time? Would you say? A few months. Yeah. At least. Yeah. I don't want to meet someone's kid if I if I've been fucking them for a week or two weeks right. or yeah, three yeah, weeks. Yeah, yeah. Well, it depends how old the kids are too. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you're fucking with someone's brain that's still developing. Yeah. You don't want to confuse them. No. I don't want to fuck up a kid. Yeah, because then you don't want them to end up like you. Right. <laughs> What's the worst way to fuck up a kid these days? 
gangbang their mom. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I would say when they say they don't want to do something and you let them have their way, that's simple. You sell that kid, I don't care what it is. You make sure that kid does it. Yeah. No matter what he does, what he says, calls the police. That's critical. Too many of these poor kids are doped up on drugs. Well, what, were you, what were you saying? You think it, it went astray when they stopped paddling in school? Absolutely. They yeah. stopped with this police brutality and Black Lives Matter and everyone's real touchy and the disrespect of the police. An ass whooping never hurt anybody. I saw a Haitian boy, her mother the, the, with, whipped his ass with a shoe. I mean, over and over and over. And the kid was crying. And I never saw anything like that. Even my father did. My mom used to use the wooden spoon. Yeah. That was her go-to. Well, good. Fucking wooden spoon, man. Yeah. yeah. The liberals will complain about the paddle in the classroom, but kids didn't bring guns to school back then, did they? And how much jail time have you done, Brad? None. There you go. You've never spent a night? Nope. There you go. There's some wood. <laughs> <laughs> the worst parents are the ones when their kid gets grabbed in school. He's like, teacher grabs him by the shoulder and complain and want to file charges pretty likely that kid will be in the criminal justice system very soon i've spent two nights in jail you might want to disclose what that was for one of them was for stealing the gumball machine okay i've seen the video yeah, <laughs> yeah that's really fucking embarrassing that i have a misdemeanor on my record for stealing a gumball machine how, how old were you when you did that it was last 19. week <laughs> in the piece of shit american cancer society uh, ref wouldn't drop the charges. Why were you stealing a gumball machine? Because <laughs> I thought it would be cool for our frat house. Oh. Is it <laughs> and, and the other time I spent the night in jail, I blew a fucking uh, .07 exactly. And this is back in the old days, um, before the nationwide .08. Mm -hmm. Michigan had a bullshit .07 that was impaired. It wasn't drunk driving. It was called impaired. Oh. So I spent a night in jail for that. In the gumball incident. Did you get a DUI or no? No. It was called impaired driving. Oh, nice. Yeah. And get back to the American Cancer Society. Do you think they really want cancer to cease? Absolutely not. No. They're making so much Big pharmacy money. makes billions oh, off yeah. cancer. So are doctors, American, man. I was asked that many times. In my workplace, at Delray Medical, you want to contribute to the American Heart Association. I says, until they want heart disease eradicated, then I might. You know, I, I was speaking with someone who will remain nameless earlier today, and they have a theory that the government is using diabetes to kill off Native Americans because they're sick of giving Native Americans free money. Ooh, very interesting. Because when I was in South Dakota, there are a lot of Native Americans out there. They're all overweight, and they all have horrible, horrible acne like the acne that looks like it's painful Ugh. and they're all fat as fuck because their bodies can't process refined carbohydrates like white bread and soda we're hmm. ruining those people with so what the hell are they eating before other than each other's newborn babies <laughs> where did you hear that it's a delicacy back then yeah the peaceful indians with all the wisdom would go into the different tribe and go for the newborn baby that's disgusting. Well, that's what they did. No, the white man's food is slowly killing off the Native American. Slowly but surely. And they're not reproducing like Spanish. You don't think it's the alcohol? Yeah. Well, that causes diabetes. And when you go out to an Indian reservation, all those assholes got like a brand new boat, brand new big lifted 4x4 four four <laughs> like Dale, and they're inside playing video games. How the hell do you that's get a reservation yeah. from getting your ass wiped off the land? I don't get that. They're the losers. They shouldn't have, you know, absolutely nothing. Best thing you can ever do is lose a war to the United States. You're set forever. That's a good point. Question uh, from Dalagram. PJ said on one of his Q&As, he watched all of Shane Diesel's racist porn. White women dropping N-words to black men but still being submissive. Thoughts? It's a good form of expression that's still going on, just like ghetto gaggers. <laughs> Does that website still exist? It's hot, yeah. They beat those black girls onto a pulp. Call them every name in the book, spit on them, puke on them, do every, you know. They say, look at you. They call you thick in the hood, but you're a fat diabetic slob here. You nice. disgusting pig. Suck this cock. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> You've done a lot of research on that, huh? It's pretty hot, actually, ghetto gaggers. I don't mind gagging porn. 
Throatjobs.com, where they just brutally fuck a girl's face. <laughs> I've seen guys doing that to a chick over the toilet, and then when she throws up, they make them lick the fucking puke off the toilet. <laughs> I love how you describe shit. <laughs> Just a vicious tone in your fucking voice. <laughs> You're a sick fuck. I wouldn't get. I couldn't stay hard if I watched a woman licking up her own puke. Oh fuck no, man! <laughs> Just the smell of puke will make oh, you if, puke. I don't have rape in me. I would. I can't be hard and beating the fuck out of somebody at the same time. Well, some girls love that. Yeah, but how do you maintain an erection when you're kicking someone's ass? It depends. Rough sex and beating someone's ass or two. Well, I'm talking about rape. Different I'm talking about rape. Yeah, yeah, you ever engage in rough sex, Brad? Of course. In what way? How do you choke me, Daddy? <laughs> no, don't worry. Choke me, leather, Daddy. I can't give you any. I, 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 exactly. Yeah, give him more ammunition. I, I, yeah, I can't give you any more. Or these trolls. The maniacs want to hear us. That's okay. They they can use their fucking imagination. Do you know you've met the right girl when you're fucking her and you put your hands around her throat. And she gets that little grin on her face. <laughs> they like that. Lenny, your advice to smile to show your teeth when meeting a girl has worked wonders the past few days. I know you didn't cover this, but at what point do I ask her? To, at what point do I ask her to shit on me? Right away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jay said it right there. A girl these days, they want to be shocked. They want to meet that guy that's just out there. It's a non-cookie cutter. Trust me, it works. Do it on your terms. Don't do it. think about her terms. That's when you're a loser. Always your terms. You control the situation. Remember that. They're going to marry a guy that's safe, but they want to fuck a guy that's not. Correct. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah. Ding, women ding. want security. So they're going to find that guy that's not too crazy, not too outrageous, got a nice conservative job, steady income, <laughs> and they're going to they're gonna have that cookie cutter life. But that isn't the guys they want to fuck. <laughs> they want to fuck the guy with the tattoos and the motorcycle and the fucking, you know, <laughs> nunchucks in his fucking back pocket. The back <laughs> nunchucks. <laughs> It's the last time you've seen anybody use nunchucks before. In the 80s. They want to settle down with Poindexter. They want to fuck the bad boy, basically. Hey, all my all my friends. That's why, when, you know, before I worked at the post office, I worked at a country club and all these rich doctors and shit. They had their little trophy wives. Mm -hmm. But you could tell that there weren't, the trophy wives would come into the bag room. We'd be putting the, you know, cleaning the carts or putting the bags on the carts and they'd flirt with the young guys. They want somebody to fuck them. Did you ever get lucky, huh? No. <laughs> Wink that. You know, <laughs> you know I, my, my first cousin, I've got a female. You, you got to be very careful at those places. I got a female first cousin who I've been good friends with my whole life. I love my first cousins. Anyway, the first time I was going to meet her husband, she pulled me aside and like squeezed my fucking arms and said, don't talk about my past. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want the dweeb husband that pulls in the big salary to know that they used to like cock. <laughs> <laughs> you mean other cock? Well, see, most of these women that, that snag the husband with the big salary, they only fuck him enough to, to keep him around. They're not fucking him for pleasure. Right. It's, a, it's like Andrew said, more of a business transaction. Yeah. Here's a question for Brad, but I think Lenny and Jay, you guys will probably want to chime in as well. Listen to my fucking phone. Turn it off. Put it in silent. Brad, I was wondering if I could get your thoughts. I am a freshman in college, and my liberal socialist professor called me a racist because of my pro-Trump hat and my conservative values. I asked him why he says I'm a bigot, and all he said was Trump is the definition of racism. What do you think about that? I think that professor should be fired. I, I got a great, great response to that. That's very irresponsible. You know, that's every college these days. You know, you don't have to fucking wear a MAGA hat to vote. If, if you put a MAGA hat on your head, you're putting a fucking bullseye on your fucking face. So keep your political views to yourself. I actually saw because I was in Universal two days, Sunday and Monday. Universal Studios and I saw a family of Mexicans two of the guys were wearing make America great again hats I'm not shitting you. I believe it. Yeah, if you notice rich people 
don't load the back of their fucking car with political slogans and bumper stickers. Yep. It's only fucking liberal pieces of shit. That with all the, it's so out of control. The whole back of their car is covered with global warming and feminist bullshit. Coexist. With yeah, all that coexist things. nonsense. Wealthy people that vote conservative don't use bumper stickers. Don't let anyone know you're a nice way to get your car keyed. By well, that's the way, how, that's because being older, we all knew you keep your political views to your fucking self yeah just like you keep the amount of money you make to yourself you don't tell people what you make and you don't t you talk about politics you know nowadays I, everything's out in the open so you can't you know nothing's private anymore I, I saw a good meme on facebook and it said if your students are able to figure out who you're voting for you're a shitty teacher you should be able to teach in high school and no one knows who you're voting for that's a good teacher I Agreed. Certain men, I, I can, women, I could tell who they're voting for. Oh I'm yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, I can too. When I when I see someone with a pierced lip, pierced nose, blue hair, you know, sides shaved, <laughs> you know, a little chubby, I'm like, I guarantee Trump's not her president. This question is for you, Andrew, and Big J. What the fuck happened after the bench competition lunch with Jay's mom? Why didn't you film it? And where is the gold medal receiving footage? Gee, not everything has to get filmed. We went out and had lunch, man. Right. Your mom didn't want to be on camera. No, who's right. going to put their mom on a Misfits video? Well, I tried not to, but <laughs> failed. She, and, got, she got in there. And the deadlift, we weren't going to sit around for three. Yeah, you didn't, you didn't want to wait around for it. Right. right. Three rounds of everybody. We would have been there for another two hours, I think. At least. Yeah. yeah. yeah I would have done another couple dances, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I'm 50 years old. I don't give a fuck about a plastic trophy. Who cares? You threw away all the trophies that you won. Yeah. Right. All my tr I, I left them there. I felt bad about it, too. But... I just think, Jay, if we knew... We may never be grandfathers. We'll never have a child come up and call us grandpa. Did I ever tell you guys the story about getting busted for fucking a fat chick in college because she saw my, she told my buddies about my trophies? No. <laughs> this is a funny story. I thought I told you guys this one. So I'm hanging with my buddies this one day. And they actually had friends. Yeah. And they called me out. They're like, Jay, you know, we know you um, fuck so and so. And I'm like, no, wasn't me. They're like, Jay, she said every trophy in your house that wasn't first place had the top smashed off. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, you guys got me. I did fuck her. Yeah, if your trophy isn't first place, you don't put that on your fucking mantle. It's a disgrace. Tell so-and-so that. Tell yeah. so-and-so. Now you don't want to name names, you fucking dumb shit. You're still going through the questions? Yeah. Like the great yeah. Herm Edwards said, you play to win the fucking game. If you ain't first, you're last. Second is the first loser. Third is a real loser. <laughs> Dale. <laughs> Question, did Lenny hear his parents having sex much growing up? That's creepy. He, yeah. Yeah, no he seems to have gotten an internet early in life. I'm not sure what that means. No, I never did, but I think he did it in the morning, though, because I hear him talk, whispering. Wasn't good old, good good old like, morning sex. Like pillow talk? I think so, because he trained at night. He trained at night, took a shower, and went to bed. It's always hard to nut in the morning, first thing in the morning. Yeah, but I, I like waking up with a boner and having a piece of pussy right there. Yeah, because well, you got to take a leak. No foreplay. A fucking, a fucking pee on. A morning you boner. You can't nut. A morning boner, you don't need foreplay. I'm into that. Right to it. A little spit on there. Yeah. Just <laughs> and slip it right in. You don't usually eat. And you just put her face the other way so you don't smell her fucking little I'm morning not, breath. Yeah, that's a, yeah, I'm yeah. certainly not eating yeah. pussy with morning sex. Put her on her side. Lift the leg up. Put her face in the pillow. I'm too fat to fuck <laughs> on my side. So Give her a mint. Some of your lovers have morning breath, I take it, Brad. Everybody has morning breath, asshole. Even, including myself. Pussy's <laughs> not the freshest thing in the morning. It needs a good shower and cleaning. Yeah. So you just sometimes it's nice to eat it though fresh. I think every that with that little every orifice needs a good cleaning first thing. My in the balls morning. smell about fifteen minutes after I shower, so I know what a pussy's going to be like after eight hours in bed. <laughs> <laughs> Even Lenny winced at that. Well, that's because Lenny's licked smelly balls. <laughs> 
any advice for when you don't know where to go in life when you have the attitude that life is more than working day after day wasting your life away he doesn't want to be a cookie cutter <laughs> join the marine corps go kill people actually you know what i say become a goddamn anesthesiologist because i got my anesthesiologist bill in the mail for three hours work four thousand two hundred dollars now luckily my deductible with with my health insurance is 1500 but that's what mike does yeah Greg's out in vegas right makes a good living nice way to make a living but he went to fucking school for a long time. I mean, that was... Actually, it, to, to become an anesthesiologist, if I'm not mistaken, is one of the, the shortest residencies there is. I think it's only a two-year residency. I could be wrong, but... Yeah, he went for eight years. I know that. So well, college. Four, well, college, yeah. four years of undergraduate, four years of medical, and then a residency. Yeah, right, correct. So... He done at 26. That's doable. Speaking of knocking chicks out, free Bill Cosby. <laughs> Jesus Christ! What does what good does it keep uh, keeping that man? Well, in he's jail? actually finding purpose. I heard he's counseling a lot of people. He's very very popular, and the same with O.J. Simpson. He helped a lot of people out during his last prison term. Quite a bit with advice, things like that, cheering people up. So things happen for a reason, and I'm glad they both came out the way they did. Because I don't believe the second time he should have went to jail. He take somebody stole his stuff and he was taking it back. And they threw the fucking book in. And while they were just looking for something, yeah. Yeah, OJ was going to jail for jaywalking. Yeah, I mean he's he just he he he's a dumb ghetto motherfucker, but I love him. <laughs> I know you do. <laughs> yeah, he's coming it's out funny. all the time doing tweets on different things. He ripped into Andrew Luck because he was on his fantasy football team. He's doing a lot of that in prison. He's fantasy, got into fantasy football. You know, black women will agree with me. People like OJ that that go with white women are not good. Definitely, that nothing pisses them off more. No, you. Th there's a shortage of good, fine, young black men. You can't have these white whores stealing them. <laughs> <laughs> well, the ones that don't wind up dead as a teenager wind up incarcerated, and then some white whore is going to steal the one, the uh, the good one of the bunch. Fuck that! I've seen black women make those faces when they see that. Like, oh, they hate that shit. Yeah. See the paradise. There's white whores that go in there sitting on them black guys' laps all the time. Then they come over to me and like whatever, you know. What's the angriest you guys have seen Big Richard? When someone left a weight on a wrong machine. I I heard a story. I wasn't there when it happened, but I heard the story about where he got into a, a verbal confrontation with the Haitian kid, and then when Richard turned his back. The Haitian pushed kid him over the bench. Correct. Yeah. Pushed Richard face first over the bench press. And apparently, like, everyone had to come and hold Richard back from just stomping the kid out. I don't know. I heard the kid was a big uh, college football player. Yeah, didn't Richard was get it? punched by a fucking black kid in the gym? I don't know. Yeah, the stories have been thrown around, but I've heard different stories as well. But he got kind of sucker punched. Yeah. Yeah. When he turned his back, he got shoved in the back. Oh, over the bench press college football where he wasn't about to take anybody's shit i've seen richard get real pissed with the handicap parking shit but that's a yeah he gets a little carried away with and people that. putting leaving weights on the bar rightfully so i mean yeah. that's we don't do that no you know what the gym i started out at gold's gym in troy michigan joint got my first gym membership in 1983 wow that owner of that gym he wanted 135 on every single fucking bar so when you were done, you left you 135. One, yeah, yeah. So someone who couldn't lift 135 shouldn't be in there. That was their job to pull that 45 off, I like that. lift their light weight, and then when they were done, they had to put a 45 back on. Yeah. So it was really cool at closing time when you when when they were locking the doors, there was 135 on every single bar in that gym. It looked cool. Yeah. It's very visually. When I started going to the gym, that's what I always learned too: is to leave a forty-five on the. Yeah, it's fine to leave. If, a if someone can't lift one thirty-five, that's be their problem. Right, you can't. I think a little bit of hazing and a little bit of bullying is good in the gym. Absolutely, it's good everywhere. Exactly. That's the problem and with the country. Now, I'll, I'll tell you what. And, and just, someone's someone's first argument is going to be, well, what about the ladies? You wouldn't believe how many guys tripping over themselves to help a girl out pulling that forty five off. So don't think though it was any big deal for the women. Right. Guys will fucking help make out. Conversation. Help. Yeah. yeah, yeah you yeah. wind up talking to the girl. Yeah. 
Let me know when you're done. I'll put that back on for or you. Like Big Rob, who tried to do it to a girl, and she told him to drop dead or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, girls in gyms have changed. Yeah, they'll wear the skimpiest shit and then get get an attitude if you're if you're looking at them or people. Yeah. Back back in the '80s, g- girls that pumped iron weren't cunts like they are now. Girls that are back then, girls that were cunts did what we called aerobics. <laughs> where they went and jumped around with leg warmers on, like the old Jane Fonda videos. Yeah. Yes, and that's where all the teased up hair and shit. That's where all the cunts went, and the chicks that were in there <laughs> pumping iron were cool as fuck. In Oakland, Pennsylvania, the two gyms opened in the eighties, and they admired guys like Jay, who had the strength. They would sit around and watch, and really into that kind of guy. It wasn't so much money up there as it was the strong guy in the gym who was benching the most. Western that went completely out the door. Western Pennsylvania chicks rock. I know from truck driving, mountain women don't even know they're pretty. They'll punch you in the face if you don't fuck them real good. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious. You could meet a nice girl that's divorced working as a checkout girl, white girl, which when I came up here three years ago, talk to her, just go up the next night. Simple as that. Nice looking women. Until they see your search history and your... <laughs> <laughs> the shit you've done online <laughs> now they just google you and you're fucked i'm not never fucked i don't I'll, like i said i don't give a fuck what some girl <laughs> guy thinks of you uh, i could get hey if it scares them away they're not worth it fuck them that's what Goodbye. i say who the hell i don't you? know there's there's a lot of women i like that i don't want going on youtube know, and watching my old live streams <laughs> Like 99% of the women that wouldn't fuck me after watching some of my lives. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think, yeah. What percentage would fuck you if the, if the lives weren't there? Well, right. I think <laughs> right. some of my live streams, could get, I'm all done if a chick sees one. Yeah, that's all very done. true. That's true. Yeah, some one of these idiots messaged me. Oh, I guess they posted something on one of those forums about, oh, you think Brad uses the misfits to get ass? I'm like, if anything, it gets gets you less ass. You know, the first. What does that even mean? Use like, the, you say, oh, we we have a YouTube channel, and I'm on you. They what, think that you. We that's use what that. Jason does. Right. <laughs> right. That's not Speak what for we yourself, do. Brad. Yeah. Works for me if I tell him I'm on it, or someone says I saw you on it. We don't have groupies, female groupies. Exactly. <laughs> yes, we do, Brad. I think so. I know it. How many times at Walmart have I been approached by girls? Dude, that's nothing to brag about. Yeah. Well, <laughs> You're is, scraping the bottom of the barrel there. Real history. Walmart is like the 1% ugliest people in the country. <laughs> I mean, once I, st- yeah, once I start getting to know them and date them, then I'll let them know about it. And if they get scared away, then it is what it is. But you got to tell them because they're going to find out sooner or later anyway. It's know. a wrong approach, Brad. You're What's letting, this all about? You're you letting know. them control you. That's not true. I control the situation. It revolves around me. Think yeah, but if they watch shit, they, they I see, don't give a shit. I know, I, but that's what I'm saying. If they watch if they watch your shit and don't like it and they leave, they're not worth it anyway. Like, you take it or you leave it. That's what I'm saying. That's exactly what I'm saying. And more in the wrong run. But I'm not take saying it. you don't you don't I use like you don't you're not using it to pick up chicks. Well you are. And guys. Correct. <laughs> you can use that's the key. Anything, any scenario to your benefit. Once you with the other you're giving the other people the control, whatever, the switch. Yeah, but if anything, like Jay was saying, it scares them away, doesn't Ooh. it? Cares. Right, right. Who cares? Then they're not worth it anyway. But Girls, I'm just saying some. Not m- yeah, most of the up. time, the way they act is the opposite of the way they think. You, you round up 99 women or 100 women, ages 30 to 50, white girls, random girls, and show them my live streams from two years ago. How many of those girls want to have sex with me? I'm saying one. More than <laughs> more girls would than that have never seen it. I guarantee you that because you're out there. See, with my situation, I can just be humble and say, yeah, I used to drink a lot and be an asshole. And then they, it's, it's okay. Or just say you have a twin brother and it's him. Yeah. <laughs> now, oh, it's that's my, my twin brother, twin, Steve. My yeah. Twin. <laughs> if you admit you used to, you know, be an asshole, right. it's over. No one, no, people don't have any ammunition if you say I used to be an asshole. What are they going to say? Well, you still are. Right. Well, fuck yourself. Never go by what a woman says. What they say and how they act, completely different than the way they Yeah, but they control who dates who. 
No, they don't. <laughs> okay. I don't give them that power. They'll never have that power. Yeah. Women will always decide who dates who. No. Yes. You control the women. There's a famous <laughs> man named Adolf Hitler said, once a country is like a woman, she's like putty in your hands. You could shape it and do whatever you want with it. They're simple-minded. <laughs> like Czechoslovakia. Very, just like a woman. Uh, uh, well, that's because you are in the position you're in. Threatened him at that Both little meeting, the idiots. diplomatic meeting, and their president had a heart Dating attack. advice from Adolf Hitler. <laughs> Only on the Del Rey Misfits podcast. <laughs> one of the dating tips from Adolf. Uh, this yeah. week, a meth addict with one testicle. <laughs> <laughs> An artist that be- that's raised an economy to unprecedented levels in the history of the world by far. Well, yeah, if, if you eliminate an... You know, enti- any, Lenny idolizes him. If you eliminate a, uh, an entire group of people like and who? then redistribute that wealth to the people you who like, eliminate? the economy will get better. Who did he eliminate? The gypsies, Jews, homosexuals, retarded. Where were those camps at? <laughs> they were in Poland. Not all of them. <laughs> There's some in Del Rey. Hitler put, <laughs> Hitler put a lot of uh, retards in the gas chamber. No, he didn't. Fuck, he did. He had him in little homes. He had him isolated out of society. Lenny's a Lenny's a fucking Holocaust denier. I know, I know the truth. <laughs> Lenny's a flat earther, I think. No, Hitler was an anti-communist. Oh, big time. And they make this the communists rip him and make spread lies about him. Um, there was Jews living in Germany right after the war, still living in Germany. That's a fact. By the thousands, they didn't go anywhere. Those camps were all in Poland, every one of them, the so-called death camps. They were internment camps. And Czechoslovakia. Yes, but not in Germany. No, he didn't have death camps. Not in Germany. Well, that's because Hitler's henchmen didn't want... That was for all propaganda purposes, keeping those death camps out of Germany. The, they weren't death camps. They were internment camps. Same they were death we camps in the, the end. No, well, because the rail lines were blown up. There was no food game coming to them. Everyone was starving. If they were death camps, why did all those people get to that level of starvation? Why wouldn't they, as they say, you get off the train, you go into, say, you're getting a shower, and you get gassed, and then they throw you in an oven? That's total bullshit. Well, I think a lot of the German soldiers, once the, they realized the war wasn't winnable, they went fucking AWOL, and the, 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 the Jews didn't have anywhere to go, so they stayed in the camp. There were no. There well, were no. Happened. Yeah. There, when the Americans liberated those camps, there were no Nazis there. Oh, they found some. They found some guards, and they made them dig the dead bodies. But the dead bodies were those from starvation. Guards ditched their uniforms and ran for the fucking hills. Well, some were caught and executed on sight. But people don't forget the Red Army, the so-called liberated a lot of those camps, and they, of course, they allowed all, a lot. Of, what did Patton say? I'm sure Stalin kept some of those fucking camps going. That guy was an evil fucking bastard. He was. But look up uh, George Patton. He was very upset because a lot of those, they had to take care of a lot of those people in the camps, internment camps, because they didn't work. They were lazy. And they were diseased. And he said that. Lazy? That's what he said. They were prisoners. <laughs> well, talk to, read Patton. Google Patton and find that information out. Your view of history is so fucked up. No, I know. That's the truth. <laughs> I can't argue with a Holocaust denier. What do you mean a Holocaust denier? Lenny, did we ever land on the moon? There's no real proof that that happened. I don't believe Jesus that. Christ. <laughs> you believe in dinosaurs too? Oh, yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, that says it all, Jay. I'm shocked that you're, you're a history major. Well, of course, that's what they, they tell you, you know, the propaganda. But yeah, when people like Sarah Palin say they don't believe in dinosaurs, you get people like Barack Obama fucking elected. Those dinosaurs are made out of cement that you see in museums and stuff. Yes, because fossils are not bone. The bone is long gone. When the bone decomposes, where the bone was gets filled with fucking sand and becomes concrete. But every dinosaur bone matches an animal that has lived and is living on this earth to this day. Elephants, giraffes, blue whales. And they pieced all those bends together for money-making purposes. Come see this. Oh, my God. He's a deny- dinosaur denier. <laughs> it's true. Were you, were you guys aware, or more specifically, Brad, aware that in Washington, D.C., there is a postal service museum? I'm sure. There's a postal museum. 
and I have a project for the maniacs. I think they need to erect a statue of Brad. <laughs> I think it's in Arlington. It's in Washington, D.C. Look it up. Arlington it's, it's, National Cemetery. Yeah. It's got the, a portrait of him. A United States Postal Museum. You know, like old museum. stamps Same and things. Museum. Yeah, that's my New York shit. <laughs> museum. <laughs> Maniacs. Let them know they need a statue of Brad. Order 66, the United Postal Service. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. <laughs> well, let them build a statue of Brad first, then they well, can order they, 66. They found, they found on the postal blog that I got that award for the kid getting caught that shot at my truck and other cars. Oh. Yeah. We should go post that picture. Oh, I saw that picture somewhere. Isn't he that me? should be in the museum. That's another one. Yeah. <laughs> Brad's an American hero. Yeah, right. I can't believe you weren't scared. Where's the Pony Express I mean, Museum? What? Of course. My adrenaline was through the roof. I, I mean, the kids turned right in front of me. I got the plate number, and that's... I think them. you may have been... Fuck you. Them. And it, Oh, you're a snitch. Fuck you. Fuck them. They're stupid enough he to said that to your face? You to fucking... Leave. Well, they said, somebody messaged me that shit. Oh, you snitch. How am I a snitch? The guy just shot at my fucking truck, and he was too stupid to take the license plate off his fucking car before he went and started shooting shit. Brad, I have a feeling... So guess what, cocksucker? And they caught the little faggot within 30 minutes after I after 911 was called. Yeah. Um, but whatever. I have a feeling you were so blazed up, you weren't... That's why you weren't I don't get face. blazed <laughs> up at work, asshole. I don't think they consider vaping blazing up. I don't up. vape anymore anyway. Stop that shit. Oh, you were a douche fluter at one point. No, not that, not that vape. <laughs> I love THC oil. That shit is so addicting. It is, but it's so, it's so convenient. I stopped that a while. Like there, there's there been a lot of reports on the, the oil, vaping oil shit, and how it fucks up your lungs just as bad as cigarettes. Not just as bad, but in a different way bad. Cigarettes you know, Michigan Michigan outlawed flavored vapes. Yeah. And uh, a lot of people are again are speaking up like it, it, it's unconstitutional. Those things are very obnoxious, though. Like the one Emma was using when she was here and blowing like a fucking humongous cloud of smoke. How do you th that oil going into your lungs? There's, there's not. It can't be good. It, how can that be OK? You know. See, vaping is, was was invented to help people get off tobacco. Correct. But the problem is... Flavored, it creates another habit, though. Flavored vapes were attracting kids that never smoked tobacco in their life. Yeah. So it should be a, a tool for, like, medicine. I used it. I used. I got on that Christian recommended the Juul thing, which I, I used that back in like february and i didn't smoke a cigarette since and then i just quit that a few weeks ago because i saw the reports i read some reports and saw in the news how bad that shit is for you so i just fucking cold turkey that shit too fuck it whatever i go through phases now i just prefer flour once in a while and i'm good what cocaine yeah cocaine Leonard. flour flowers pot uh oh so i'm interpreting <laughs> not, this, vape, not that, oil just regular i'm interpreting this that the taco queen told you to quit smoking no i i do what i want Jay. Ooh. i love how <laughs> she's not linda Ooh. no names now well <laughs> everybody knows who she's, listen well what, what what queen would she be of the, the blank burrito queen, queen i probably <laughs> <laughs> amber cheeseburger queen <laughs> where is she brad Never saw her. Never been on a podcast. I'm not allowed to go where she, she works actually and said, say hi. She actually said she would be on a podcast. She actually. Oh, actually. Actually is a yes or no or an actually. She axed Brad. If I she actually come fucked a man in the ass Saturday night. <laughs> <laughs> what is <are> you <laughs> <Jay's face? laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> When people lie, the first thing they said is actually. I got a Tony Mandarich interview where he was on David Letterman in 1989, and they asked him, Letterman said, Have you ever taken steroids? Actually, I have not. And years later, they, you know, he came and admitted it. What about, to be perfectly honest? Right. Yeah, that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a Freudian yeah. slip. Yeah. We'll figure out when. She'll or, come on. It's I'm not going to lie to you. Hey. Oh, tonight. Tonight? No. Not tonight, Leonard. No fucking tonight? Hmm? No fucking? What do you mean, no fucking? I thought that's what he asked you, if you're fucking tonight. No. He wants to meet, he asked if he could oh. meet her tonight, because I said any time, so then, of course, he's going to say right now, tonight. You will, don't worry. Calm down. 
Will you be? How come f- I haven't met any of your fucking goddesses? Why don't you? Br- why don't I'll let suck your dick? Why, 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 why don't you bring? I'll let him. Why don't you bring? Why don't you bring Kill Me Goddess on the podcast? How come she can't come on? Or he I can't think she'll come scare on. some people here. Why don't we get the <laughs> BJ's tranny on to come on? <laughs> that well, everybody bring their tranny on. In cells. <laughs> <laughs> I, that tranny that PJ said he was addicted to, I fucking follow her on Instagram. She's fucking you, hot. You sent you sent me that <laughs> on the DM. You sent me. I would let that tranny suck my dick. It's a victimless crime. Question is, are you let the, you suck the tranny's dick? No. <laughs> I wouldn't even fuck a tranny in the ass because I I might see the nuts. They might be slapping against. What if you were wasted, like a year ago? I'm not doing a tranny in the butt, but if they want to suck my dick. I'll let anybody suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, why be picky about who sucks your dick? It's not like you're sucking their dick. <laughs> Don't make you gay. It's not like you're it sucking. Sure it does. If you can get hard with Lenny sucking your dick, you're a fucking fat. No, it makes Lenny an idiot, and I'm fucking. <laughs> just had an orgasm. <laughs> I think I'm, <laughs> I'm the smart one of the bunch. <laughs> Like, yeah, they say, ever, like they say in prison, you're only a fag if you're receiving, right? Well, I don't think you should ever turn down a blowjob. I mean, that's just... Has a, good, a man ever asked you to suck the suck you off? Or for you? I mean, if you could redo your entire life, yeah. wouldn't you take every blowjob you could have ever had? That's actually a very good point. <laughs> Well, you're, I've never had a man off. That's what I was about to say. You're asking that under the assumption that a man has, or an alien, or a primate, or whoever. What about it's a, like a primate offer? An something. animal? The fuck is wrong? If with a you? dog came up and started licking your, well, dog. you you live with a dog right now. Yeah. If Benny came up and started licking my dick, <laughs> Benny. What, what would you? Do? <laughs> yeah. You wouldn't stop him. What are you supposed to do? What is anybody looking? Say. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do they say the Whoa. definition of integrity is what, what what you do when no one's watching yes right so no one's watching your dog comes over and starts licking your crotch you let it continue well i'm gonna be curious to see what it feels like <laughs> Dude, even i don't get it well it's just different, different i mean it looks like you're just watching a little tv chilling and the yeah. dog starts licking your dick is it gonna get hard? You go and get the peanut butter. Is it gonna get hard <laughs> if the dog starts licking your dick? Uh, if your dick gets hard, obviously there's nothing wrong. Uh, if it stays limp, then it's bad dog. <laughs> Lenny talks about trannies. Jay talks about animals. I just, bad. I just think it's a good policy to never turn down a blowjob. <laughs> kind of hard to argue with that even from an animal brad hasn't answered my question the question what was the question your f- ultimate fantasy <laughs> he said fucking a midget because <laughs> he knew he knows i was joking i don't i would let a midget suck my f- cock because they have a normal size head i don't know if i want to fuck one in the vagina <laughs> or the ass <laughs> i certainly don't want to see their little baby feet that would creep me out <laughs> i know <laughs> I don't know. I started following that uh, Chris, Christy Mack recently. I'd like to fuck her. I think if I fucked a midget, I would have to leave their socks on. I don't want to see baby feet. I would lose my heart on. <laughs> that's just, yeah, that's a problem. It's almost, it's almost like fucking somebody missing a limb. You know, I can't. No, I couldn't do that either. I could fuck a one-armed broad. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Why not? I don't know. What yeah. about those an chicks APT? that have that one arm that's real little? Have they- you ever fucked an APT? No. You, Leonard? Like a baby arm? Leonard's thinking. <laughs> you know, that's really common among chicks to have that one little baby arm. Common? Well, more, yeah, what are we com- <laughs> fuck are you talking more about? More common than men. Some of them have those fucking toe thumbs. You notice that shit sometimes. Yeah, I would fuck a chick with toe thumbs. Yeah, that's okay. But I would let her put that thumb in my butt. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing feels better than getting your ass fingered when you're getting your dick sucked. <laughs> I would say every man, every man should go to like Aruba or Jamaica and pay a prostitute to finger their ass while they come in the bitch's mouth. <laughs> and then you just don't talk about it. No one will has to know. But that's something every man should do. Get their ass fingered while they're getting a blowjob. That, that's since we're talking about sucking dick. Mario has a Mario from Chicago has a question. What do you think of girls that don't suck dick because it's degrading? That's I love degrading sex. <laughs> Girls that won't suck your dick because they think it's degrading. I've never so met a woman who. I know I've never. I kind of. I see his point. Like I think. I think 
eating pussy is very submissive, but I'll still. She's do probably going to stay single for the rest of her life. Yeah, if you no want my shit. opinion? Isn't eating good luck getting, Isn't yeah. eating pussy a submissive act? But it depends how it's done. Yeah, I mean, uh, you can't be dominant and eat yeah. pussy. Well, if you're tied to the bed and she's I'm gonna eat sitting your pussy, on your face, bitch. let me spank you and eat your pussy. You know what I mean? Or let me spank I, you. I, and I've I've never heard of a woman saying she doesn't want to suck dick because she thinks it's demeaning. No, I, I've either. never. Have that's you? the first I've ever even. Well, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, being a cookie cutter is the most degrading thing anybody could ever do. <laughs> <laughs> well, cookie Not cutters don't yourself, do oral following. sex. Don't cookie cutters. Cookie cutters like Christians. They, they. I don't know what their foreplay is all about, but they're not big into oral sex. Christians are some of the biggest evangelicals. Freaks. Christians are the biggest freaks on the planet. No, <laughs> getting an evangelical yeah. to yes, put your are. put your dick in her mouth is quite a task. They want to try and get you hard with a hand job. And they're even worse, I think, evangelicals. A hand Jim, job. Jimmy is Swaggart was a fucking animal. He had that gross shit on him. <laughs> yeah, but that's not a real e Christian. Yeah, that's a televangelist, you know. Yeah, that's, that's a that's a con man using religion to make money you call on people. Call a real animal is get somebody for getting shit on. What would you call yourself? <laughs> what about Tammy Faye Baker? <laughs> not bad. What do you mean not bad? She's a little pig. <laughs> Jim, he sure showed his true colors, balling like a little baby. Well, that's to keep the money rolling in. <laughs> no, but I see that that Mario's point. I mean, but you, like I just said, eating pussy submissive, and I'll still do it. Even if they don't blow you? Well, it depends. I don't think I don't think every encounter you have with a chick, both of you need to do oral sex. You know, there's times when you want to grab a chick by the fucking hair and fucking shove your cock in her mouth. And then there's times when you're feeling a little kinky and you want to lick her pussy. They don't have to be the same time. Right. You know, and you don't count like, oh, well, you sucked mine last week. I'll do lick you. Then. Yeah, of course. No, if you if you're keeping track of who that's kid shit. Yeah, if you're keeping track of who's doing more oral, you know, fuck, you do what feels right in the moment. There's nothing hotter than a chick getting a little dominant for a minute and saying, hey, "Lick my pussy." I mean, that gets me horny. Me too. Fuck yeah. yeah. Especially when they're squirming and you're eating their pussy, you get yeah. hard right away. And nothing hotter than when you're in a relationship and you go what they call screwing around on her. That's hot for both parties. Always has been, always will be. I don't People know any women that, that find cheating a rock. <laughs> yeah, no. They cheat on them, so-called cheating on their... Women don't cheat for sex. They cheat to better their situation. No, they still like to go... Women on. are always trolling for the bigger, better deal. That's plain and simple. They're not cheating for sex. Most women cheat with a guy that, from work because they want someone to listen to them talk and we're so sick of them by the time we after we've been fucking them for a few weeks we don't listen to their shit it goes in one ear and out the other so they find some clown from work that'll listen to them talk and they get so turned on by that <laughs> you're laughing because it's true oh my god <laughs> women do not cheat for sex no way Unless it's Wilt Chamberlain or something. <laughs> 20 inch dick. Leonard, no. you're deep in thought over there. What are you thinking? Oh, I think I got a shot for food. <laughs> he looks like he's got low blood yeah. sugar or high Did blood Did you sugar. eat after you worked out or no? I drank a post workout, but I took 10 more units of slow acting insulin. I got to go shopping. It's about that time anyway. Oh, shit. It's 10 to 10. Yeah. You want to open that real quick? They asked you to open it on the podcast. Jay, grab that box. I can't watch him open a package. No, he's great. He's not as bad as Jason. Plus, since he's hungry, he's going to get rid of it. Jesus Christ. I think there's hamburgers in there. To all the misfits, thanks for the incredible mess you have to do. Here, 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 here. Jesus Thank Christ. Thank you, misfits. We use fans from liberal Southern California, the other neighbor in Boca Raton. Big Lenny, you're the biggest freak in Port Charlotte. We love every word you speak. Andrew doesn't get enough credit for being a complete non-cookie cutter. Brad, you're still a dope-smoking, tattooed cookie-cutter <laughs> freak. But there's nothing better with you than Jay, with being with Jason. Big oh. Jay Masters, checking in from the podcast. Looking forward to see a new world record holder and the Masters bench press. King Andrew needs a shout-out, too. Need him to move back to Delhi and resume training with Big Lenny. Even Sam Apanzilla has become a men-filled non-cookie cutter. Come on, Rob. Keep filming the Big Lenny show. 
since you're all non cookie cutters except for Bard. <laughs> Please accept these T-shirts to be worn when you go to war with the weights. With those 120 pound skinny freak gym planet cookie cutter and LA dope smoking fitness. <laughs> Nothing more non cookie cutter than wearing direct to competitors' clothing in their facility. I only have a two X for Lenny, unfortunately. So he makes it to 700 pounds ripped. He won't be able to fit it, but hopefully he can wear it for now. We couldn't find a 6XL to fit that fat pig, Janoy. <laughs> <laughs> Your biggest fans, boss and boss. Don't worry, Lenny. Those aren't cookie cutter nicknames. Those are our birth names. Let's see what we got. They're all the same. Extra large. <laughs> nice. Huh. Crunch fitness. Oh, God. Extra large. I've heard of crunch. Have you? That's, that's a, yeah, I remember those back in New York. I see them on the road. Nice. What's her name? I can't wear an XL. Yeah. Me and Andrew were nice. Yeah, I'll take the dark one. Another XL. Take this? No. You got a 2X? Yeah. That's our picture, right? Nothing right. for you, Jay. There you go. No, it's for you, Lenny. I don't want it. Oh. <laughs> Lenny's not going to fit in a 2X. Now, but... I don't think we would be allowed in Crunch Fitness. No. I've never been. I don't know if I can idea. Thank you very much. What's the what's the guy's name again? Boston Boss. Boston Boss. Thank Boston you. Boston Boss. There you go. go Patriots, Boston Boss. Fuck the Patriots. Tom Brady's the man, the yeah. goat. Gronk will come out of retirement soon and get another ring. He's just oh. taking half the season off. They don't need him. <laughs> that would be smart. Of course. Yeah. Are you allowed to rejoin the team once they're eight and all? Of course. I think there's definitely there's got to be a cutoff. Jason Witten came back this year. He was out of here. Oh, yeah. oh. He wasn't very good in the booth. Yeah. Yeah. All right, what do you want to hear going out? Something for Dale. Oh Jesus! Like the Dukes of Hazard theme song. The, uh, Southern man. No, that's By terrible. Uh, that's it's Neil Young. Neil Young. No, oh, Jesus. That's the name of the song? Yeah. <laughs> Old Man or Southern Man? Southern Man by Neil Young. Oh, my God. Going out to Chance Estates. I'm not a Klan supporter, no. I'm not a Nazi supporter, no. Just yeah, but they're misaligned good, by good the current propaganda. Yeah. The Ku Klux Klan delivered turkeys to poor black families in South Carolina because Andrew Kalora spoke to an older black man in his 80s that said that's what they did. They came to the house and with the Ku Klux Klan, they don't come in robes. And we you know if you have this turkey, they're giving them turkeys. They felt sorry for him. The Ku Klux Klan, so-called lynch, more white guys than black guys. That's a fact. Child rapist, shit like that. They called That's why they call it Southern Justice. The blacks did their thing. Nope, they never had a problem. Nobody got lynched for nothing. I hope everybody got their history lessons. They never here. got lynched for nothing. No, they didn't go around like randomly finding black people to hang. That's not true. No, I don't think that. Well, maybe if they drank. No, they. You know, this they good. used to drag fucking black kids behind their car. Yeah, for raping a white girl or something like that, or stealing. But yeah, a couple of isolated people did that. But I mean. That's why you can't go into certain neighborhoods. Try going to He's uh, a hate crime Louis, go to Louisville, <laughs> Kentucky. Go through a black neighborhood. You should go to every part of this country you want. <laughs> when the Klan was in the twenties, I mean, I'm Catholic. They didn't even want Catholics coming over. They were against uh, JFK being elected because you're taking your orders from an Italian dick, Italian pope. Right, a Roman dictator. Yeah. So. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the fucking Pope. This current Pope we have is Either a communist I. asshole. Exactly. <laughs> and who protect us from the communists? The Klan and the Nazis protected Europe or tried to. And every country that was under German control, once German lost the war and the Russians came in, they said it was 10 times worse. Oh, I agree with that. The Russians are worse. Even Patton said that. Let's join the Nazis and take out Russia. Didn't want to listen. That's the facts. 
<laughs> I'm <laughs> astounded. <laughs> yeah. Lots of facts tonight, apparently. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Lots of facts. Yeah. Olympics, he refused to shake. The young man. Hitler refused to yeah. shake Jesse Owens' hands as a lie because he was sitting at the banquet three people down from Hitler after the Olympics. That's what we should rename this podcast. Jesse Owens said that. Lots of facts. Yes. The Lots of Facts podcast. You're going to have, have a lot of these young maniacs arguing with their history <laughs> They <laughs> better be. Yeah. Yeah. We've been yeah. food fed that shit for years. Hitler n- did not have anything against black people. He had anything against anybody. He just wanted Germany. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted you know racial unity again, which to make the country mm. successful. Then you can implement immigration, things like that. But you're going to get your shit together. And under the Weimar Republic, that country was a fucking mess. There was fucking homosexuals all through Berlin. <laughs> it was disgusting. It sounds like a party. The irony. Right. I know. It's just right. great. Lenny can... It's just great. great. Nothing but facts. Uh, I love it. I researched. Look at Read David Irving, who was locked in jail for speaking the truth. He was an English historian. Yeah, hey, I never heard Hitler refuse to shake Jesse Owens' hand. That's a lie. Jesse Owens even said that. That's a lie. Well, yeah, Americans have their own propaganda. Propaganda is part of war. Did you know Hitler's mother's doctor was Jewish and Hitler gave him a monthly pension of his out of his own pocket for the rest of that man's life? And the man lived in Germany during the whole war, as did many other Jewish people. That's a fact. People were thinking every Jew got taken, and that's not true. Except, there's, there's except, Jewish for, families except for the six that. million. Yeah. Yeah, but people forget 11 million or some 12 million died in the Holocaust. Now, that's that's outrageous numbers. I mean, that's not possible to do that for what they were said. That's just not possible. It's like 3,000 people a day or something. That's ridiculous. Yeah, someone sent me one of the... That, that if the Holocaust is true, they killed 3,000 people a day, something like that. Come on. And how come there's so many survivors? Again, Holocaust, everything's dead. Oh, I'm a survivor. Okay. You were in a camp. And actually, you were protected. How many of those Germans, they firebombed the shit out of Dresden and the fat on people's body from the heat. Children, little German kids and mothers, they'd be exploded all on the wall and grease, splatters of grease from the heat. Yeah, what we did to Dresden was not very nice. No, you could thank and Churchill for that. They should fucking... Should have they they, they didn't it. build one munition in Dresden there was they they had a china making factory they made plates and saucers and we dropped incinerary bombs on the city and then Russians came in all those German men were at war they fucked the, they fucked their women they crucified them right on the fucking front door right in front of their kids but that's when the Americans knew how to fight a war you you fight terror with terror right but we're on the wrong side should have took out the Russians no, we should have kept our troops there after World War II and gone after the Chinese. <laughs> well, that's what's going to bite us in the back should eventually. Every You're right. Slope in the globe. You're right. That's going to bite us oh, in the back real quick. Jesus. I've said it before, and I hate to say it. I'll say it again. It's going to happen. You're 100% right about that. What, what, what have the Asians done for this country? Name, name the most important Asian in American history. The guy who invented rice aroni <laughs> I mean, what have they really done? The San Francisco tree. <laughs> Brad's a San Francisco I tree when he gets that leather Brian on. It's a roni. The San Francisco uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's because I think chop suey was invented in San Francisco. Chop suey isn't even Asian. It's bullshit American food meant to look like gook food. Everything you you own is made in China. Just look, you like your phone, right? Well, that's the problem. That's where yeah. all the fucking jobs go. Yeah. You think you think they're gonna, it's going to come back to haunt us big time? There's nothing we can be able to do about it. China needs us to buy their cheap Walmart bullshit. Hell, even our raw materials and all the stuff we're injecting is coming from that place. Yeah, all the raws, all the juice, all the underground labs, all the equipoise and DECA and trend we shoot. All those raws are made in China. Even Crete and all the other shit, too. You said, what, did, what does China do for you? <laughs> you got no, I meant Chinamen in this country. Oh, okay. Who's the greatest Asian American in history? I can't. Angus Khan, if you're talking about it. No, Asian American. Bruce Lee? I don't know. Who? I mean, what have the Asians done for us? 
Besides dry cleaners. Yeah, we're all sitting here thinking. <laughs> yeah, I, know. I can't even think of an Asian yeah. that's done shit. At least if you if we if I say something about black people, you can name a few names. You know, George Washington Carver invented peanut butter. That's a pretty fucking big deal. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Where would we be without peanut butter? God bless George Washington Carver. The Asians haven't done shit. They're just consumers like Nate. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's it. <laughs> Good night, maniacs. Hope we had a we'll try enlightening to, yeah, this we'll evening. Try not to wait another six weeks for the next podcast. Uh, yeah. This could be my last one before I go on the road. Oh, we'll see. On the road that. again. Oh. We'll try to do one more with you before you go, yeah. if that's possible. All right. Any any last words? No. I'm just growing. Getting bigger. DelrayMisfitsGear.com. First book cameo.com. You want a personalized message from Big Lenny? Yeah, They're kind of unique. We actually have to do a few right now after we're done here. Never turn down a blowjob, no matter what the source. There you go. That's the best advice I can give you. Nothing but facts. Back next week. Good night.